Hey, 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 chat. Hello, 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 a fine good eve to you all. Oh, TGIF, Fridays, it's, that's tonight, that's, oh, that's tonight, that's Friday, chat. We are there, you and I, we have reached that point, chat, where we are, hold on, hold on, pause it, move over, turn that volume down there, we come here, blammo. My webcam looks terrible. Man, all right, whatever. It's like, it, it seems like just the heat and frequent use on this GoPro is just slowly killing it. Terrible. Okay, so let's see, can I? Uh, it's a little bit. I'm trying to, well, actually, no, it's kind of stabilizing. Yeah? We did some work on the PC this week, chat, so now this game is running off of a nice slick M.2. And I changed some priorities and stuff before I started streaming, so it looks like... Whereas before, we were running at kind of like high settings and capping the frames at 40, like 45-ish. I think we finally got it ultra settings... Uncapped, well, un, I mean, very much capped at 60 frames, but. Yeah, not too many frame drops, no frame drops. I mean, there's a couple instances of screen tearing every once in a while, but screw it, it'll be fine. Oh, God, chat, so we're finally here. We're finally here and ready to do a little bit of searching of Elysium. I've been, oh, I've been waiting for it, Chad. I'm so excited. So I think the first thing that we're going to do, now that we're finally in here, oh, I didn't do the daily yet. Uh, maybe we'll do that at the end. Okay, the first thing I want to do, though, is I want to get all of these fast travel locations. Yeah, so I think what we'll start by doing is just heading straight down and grabbing that. And then we can kind of just, like, see what all of these locations are. I guess maybe as we move over here? I mean, there's not too many locations, so it shouldn't hurt us too terribly much. Ooh. A little bit of a wonky shadow there, but... Oh, man, it's so pretty, chat. It's real, real pretty. Let's see, so we're going over there? Sure, I'll take your boat. Decalion's Heritage. Interesting. Okay, so it's dropping a few frames, but that's all right. Yeah, we're just gonna like we're just gonna jump right up there. Absolutely. Oh man. Get me up there. Let me see the view. Village of the Glorious Dead discovered. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Man, this is a good climb. Oh yeah, and if you haven't noticed, I am very much celestialed out right now. Since the last time we streamed, which God only knows at this point exactly when that was, time is just no longer a thing anymore. Uh, since then, we rolled over to a new week, and with a new week, gotten a couple more pieces of the celestial gear, 
and with which with what few uh, helix credits we had on hand, we were able to buy the rest of it. So we have a completed uh, celestial outfit. And I couldn't I couldn't not wear it, Chad. Like it's too good. Oh, so this is like a full on little village. That's cute. Alright, it's a little framey. Ooh. Oh, and that gets me some more things, huh? Downwards wings of Hermes. Upwards wings of Hermes? So that's what these are. The hell does that mean? Well, I mean that's our first our first quest, so we might as well go find out, I guess. Loot. Loot, don't mind if I do. Look at everybody partying in Elysium. Well there's Hermes. Persephone isn't asking. She's demanding your presence. Adonis, huh? There's only one thing Persephone can want with him. Oh, I can't talk to him yet? Alright, fine. That's fine. No worries. I'll just go see whatever this thing is way down here. And look at everybody partying. Let's see. Man, textures aren't really loading in right. Doesn't seem around here. The wings of Hermes. Could this be it? Whoop. Cool. Okay, so how... What does this do for me? Just teleports me? Walaka, that was fast. Okay, so it's just like for elevation. I see. And now we go talk to Hermes. Got it. I understand. So anytime we need to, like, scale one of these little mountain outcroppings, we can just use the teleporters to get down. You know I want out of Elysium. If you help me escape, I promise you'll never see me again. As happy as that would make me, Persephone wants you to stay. How long until you realize you're just one of her pets? Watch yourself, human. Careful, or Persephone will have you neutered. Oh, I forgot. She did that ages ago. Didn't think the dead could feel pain. I'm one of the few miserable fools around here who's actually alive. Uh-huh. If you're so miserable, why not just leave? I've tried. If Persephone wants you to stay, dead or alive, you stay. Hades taught her well. So you're the troublemaker I've been hearing so much about. Adon is at your service. With an army at Persephone's disposal and most of Elysium under her control, my troublemaking days are coming to an end. What if I helped you? And why would someone with their whole life ahead of them want to do that? Uh, 
I need to find Hades' realm. If overthrowing Persephone is the key to escaping Elysium, then I'm in. <laughs> Why didn't you just say so from the beginning? Did you hear that, my love? She wants to enter Hades' realm. I'm going to find it with or without your help. We might as well work together. Tell you what. Southwest from here is the fortress of the Three Sisters. One of Persephone's strongholds. If you kill her overseer, destroy her torches of Hypnos, and steal Persephone's resources, all while avoiding the attention of her Colossi, then maybe I'll trust you. Tell me about the Overseers. Persephone's most trusted and deadly servants. They are the eyes and ears of Elysium. Killing them will leave the Queen blind and deaf. Torches of Hypnos? Constructed by the God of Slumber, these devices keep human minds under Persephone's control. Destroy their centers to extinguish their flames. I don't like the sound of Colossi. The Colossi are best left asleep. They protect the Overseers. Bloodshed wakes them, and they do not like being woken. Hmm. If you're the troublemaker, why do I feel like I'll be causing all the trouble? What can I say? I'm a lover, not a fighter. Luckily for you, I'm both. Interesting. Okay, so region control to work, weaken Persephone's hold on Elysium, kill or, li kill or liberate East East soldiers, destroy marble maiden tributes, torches of Hypnos and provisions. Interesting. Steal resources from Elysium. Okay, so they have basically all the same things in the normal area. Interesting. An area there. I mean, I still want to get all of the fast travel locations before we really dig into too much else. But because this... Whatever this building over here is... Just right on the way. No, Cassandra, don't do that. Whoop, whoop. I do want to see what's... Oh, it's a torch. Adonis's gardens, huh? Ah, so it's a fort, eh? Over me intrigued. What? Are you serious? I mean, you did it, bud. I wasn't looking to do it, but you did it. Okay, so I said that we were going to go do the, the fast travel locations first, but you know what? We've opened Pandora's box at this point. Okay, so let's make uber sure. Something different. Those guys over there are pretty... It's a pretty tight little formation there.
<laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, I need to steal your resources, huh? Well, let's take everybody out first. We'll we'll we'll, we'll take everybody out first. Hold on. Oh man, the change of scenery is so nice. Oh good, you're coming right where I need you to come. Man, cool armor and stuff too. Isu Warden Breastplate? Yeah, alright. We'll look at that in a second. Also, hopefully that just fetches, like, a ton of money. Let's see, hold on. Oh, man, that feeling when you had a sneeze. And you lost the sneeze. Okay, where's that guy going to go? Oh, well, don't mind if I do on this, though. I wonder if those things glow. Problem, not a problem. That's it? That's all you're gonna give me? That's pretty lame. Oh, there was like an entrance? Alright, let's see. Where did everybody go? Just those two right there, right? Thanks for tall bushes. Blam! And with that, the garden is mine. Hee <laughs> Oh man, these supplies get me nothing. That sucks. That sucks a lot. Let's see. Let's see, where's that chest? Over here. on this third floor. Neat. The six senses sword. 
sword. Okay, so then all that we have to do is take out that torch? How do we do that? What do I need to do? Really? And how does that... Okay. Do I do it from up here? Do I shoot it? Ah. Neat. Okay, I'm into it. I'm into it. I like it. Okay. Now. So that takes care of at least one location. Some more locations over here. And what we'll do is we'll get this one, come over here, get this one, out here. Well, we should probably get these two. Oh, man. Oh, or no, we'll do this. We'll go north, get this one, get these three, wrap back around and get this one, Come back this way, get these, get these, and then we'll come back and actually do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the ticket. So now we're going that way. So now, what are we dealing with here? Tributes to Persephone. Destroy marble maiden statues to decrease Persephone's control over Elysium. Doing so will allow you to absorb the power contained inside them. Interesting. There's only three of them. And they're all facing one direction. So we actually want to... Bail out. Sorry, bronze guy. I have business. I love being sneaky, man. Ooh. Get a lot of stuff for taking them down, though. Okay. So then I just... Do I have anything bigger? I don't, do I? Okay. Huh. Alright. I'll take it. Let's see. So if we want to go up here now, I want to go across the water to... Oh, that's... That doesn't really do much to get me up there, does it? That's barely a jump. Why isn't that not down here? Crystal clear waters. Sharks? Hopefully not.
Like, what's the point of putting a teleporter that only takes me 25 meters higher? Seems a little bit nonsensical. Well, what do I know? I just got here. Teleport me, please. I should be extra careful in this area. Ah. Well, that is... that's why. Palace of the Colossi, huh? There's not enough people here. This feels weird. Three torches of Hypno. Where are they? Okay. There are only two people. Three people. Why are there only three people? Okay, no, there's some more. Okay, I got it. So what's so important? It's a lion? Huh. I mean, this is a pretty neat little path to take, but why would I want to do... Oh. There's a thing there. Interesting. Then we can get around the back. Okay. So, like, what happens when I shoot this? Does everybody get alerted? Oh, they get scrambled. That's interesting. But now they're on alert. Okay. Well, let's just go down and do this thing, huh? So can I jump down here and teleport up? Okay, I did not see that person. Okay, I need to like... Come over this spot here. Oh, look at this clouds that come up through here. That's cool. Okay, I think we're fine. I do really love this level aesthetic, though. The whole, the whole, uh, Wait, isn't there still more over there? There's not. Like, I really enjoy the verticality of this. A lot. Like, everything is mostly horizontal in vanilla game. Minus a couple of key locations. But this is like... The amount of variation in when you of where you can uh, 
infiltrate from is wild. Oh, ho, ho. No, no, no. 11,000 per one of those statues, chat. This is how we're going to make tons of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to have to be really good about investigating every single spot. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, you're kidding. Uh, yeah, I'll, t I'll, I'll take the 100,000 gold. Oh, I can't. Well. Interesting. Here, I was thinking that we were just gonna, like, get a massive payday right there. Like, if I walk in the middle of them, do they wake up? They all just decoration? Ooh, that's trippy. Freaks me out. Ooh, there's still more down, huh? Yeah, so there was a thing right there. How do I get there? Is there like a... Cave? And that's just the path up. None of this looks like a cave system. Interesting. So it must go down into the mountain from the area those guys are guarding, huh? Let's see. I wonder if it turns night here. I haven't seen any night cycles. Where'd that one go? Oh, he's right there. Huh. Any more provisions? Okay, we need to get to that chest. Is it through that one door? Hmm. Yeah, let's see. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Let's see.
Intriguing. Good, good, good. Like, I wonder if there's just, like, enough... Like, is this, like, a tomb? Does this go farther in? Must, huh? Ooh, it is. Look at that. So, where's the light? Could I have just dropped in here? I didn't see a spot like this. Oh, maybe I did. Oh wow, they're recycling their 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 mechanics really well for this. Oh, there was some kind of a chasm I could have come come up from. Very neat. Isu Myrmidon armor. Okay, so this location is done. Oh, come on, really? However... I still want to take all of these guys out. So that we can take out the statue guys. Because that's at least, I don't know if there's any on that farther side. That's at least 20,000 gold right here with these couple of statues. Which is not terrible. Let's see, I might... I mean, it's kind of in his blind spot. Ah, uh, hell, let's risk it. Boom. Yes. Love it. Okay, a little less money on those, but... But there's still weapons, too. Forged Dagger of the Isu. Okay, yeah. Man, neat. Neat, neat, neat. Like, I love this entire, like, walk around aesthetic. Like, the level design I am really into. I'm digging it. Like, nothing I like more than verticality.
Uh, now let's see. Like, how cool is it that we're, like, over this giant chasm, leaping between trees? Like, up in the clouds, doing, doing cloud stuff. Like, how neat is that? Look at that deer! He's got golden antlers down there. Let's see what happens when we hunt him. Oh. Alright. Well, who cares? To infinity! Demigod legs. Okay, so now you're like right there. They won't ask any questions. Let's keep out of sight. Do I get a whole bunch of stuff for that? <gasps> he's made of gold! God, he's big. 36? What is with the looting here? Why is everything so cheap? Okay, no, no, no. There's got to be somebody else. Where is number three? Did they defend this with just two people? There's got to be a third, right? Maybe not, I guess. Let's see. I mean, this abundance of wildflowers makes it so easy to sneak up on everybody. God, you get so much loot from these, like, mega statue guys. Thousand gold, man. Love it. Okay, marble maiden statue complete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, how much did I just get from that? Did I just see that I got 180,000? Wait, hold on. How much experience did I just get? Is that 18 or 180,000? Gosh darn it. Either way. Let's see. I'm going to save these ability points in case I can use them on something else eventually. Because for the trailer for this DLC, I saw some interesting new assassination abilities that we don't have. Let's see. Get that one. Wait, so where's the down arrow for this? Huh. Oh well. Just up, huh? Look at this place, chat. It's idyllic. Oh, man. Love it. Love it so much. So good. House of the... That's us. We're the House of the Bloodline. Fine, enigmatic... Okay, wait. Wait, who's that? Rose... Will that dog attack me? 
And it's the house of the bloodline. Is he gonna attack me? Isn't roast? Isn't that Persephone's dog? Wait. Hello? I want to talk to you. I am talking to you. Smart doggy. Oh my god. Let's go. That's so cute. Elysium. Pariah's retreat, marble and limestone can't hold forever. A house needs reinforcements. Its foundation must be built to endure. One faulty crack can destroy everything. I fell with my eroding fortification into the water to the east. And will be shadowed by a wooden bridge forever, if not found. Okay, to the east, shadowed by a bridge. Wait, so is this like... A replica of my house in Sparta? Talk to him. Who's a good boy? Ross is a good boy. Oh my god, I literally can't. I literally can't handle it. It's too cute. It's too cute. Hold on. Like, we just have a house in Elysium with our dog? Isu Vanguard Bracers. Cool, man. Okay, so... In the waters to the east... Shadowed by a bridge... I mean, over there? Probably that bridge, right? Let's find out. Should be in the shadow of that bridge. In the water. Shadow of the bridge. Of course, this bridge is shadow. So, right around here somewhere, huh? Uh, we get nothing. So, not this bridge? Well, that'll be fun to find later. Uh, especially when we don't really know the place, but... So the house was here. Water's to the east. Shade of a bridge could be that bridge, that bridge, any of these bridges. Which way is my... That way. So, let's take this teleporter. Yeah, Shadow of a Bridge. Okay, real quick, though. Can I see clear indication of a... One of these bridges casting a sh Like, there's not even... Well, we'll have to figure it out. Stroma. Okay. Here's a bridge. Is this bridge casting a shadow? Man. Alright, 
let's just go straight up here. It's like everything that these bridges are covering are already in shadow. That one's not, though. Yeah. Oh, man, look at this. Look at this place. Stoma's High Peak? Oh, man. Honestly, this, like, mountainside villa kind of a deal with this never-ending staircase does give me really strong Mediterranean... Wait. What? Oh, okay. Does give me really strong Mediterranean vibes. Definitely. Okay, okay. Oof, pretty. Kind of weird how that thing goes in a circle. Maybe there'll be a, uh... Secret, secret spot there. Okay. So I want to go that way? Yeah, that looks to be the spot now. Cool, so what's over there then? Yep. Oh, this, this might actually cast... Maybe it doesn't. Yeah, it'd have to be, like, pretty... Huh. I don't know. Alright, well, let's... Captain... A torch... Provisions chest. Oh, man, such cool levels! I'm so into it! Oh man, this guy's all by himself. He's gonna get rocked. Man, they did an incredible job making this feel super unique. Like, I'm definitely having to do a little bit more... A little bit more thunking. A little bit more of the strategery. To really clearly... Oh, well, this dude, what are you doing? Well, that, that dude's gone. And this dude is just, like, walking into my area. I'm in the bush. You didn't see a thing. Bingo, bango. Oh, man. And we could just, like, drop down here? Oh, yeah. 
I'm definitely into it. No, go up. Go up, please. Keep going. Keep going up. Get a little height advantage on this guy. That's, that's not how physics works. Exactly what's happening as soon as I shoot this. Or they don't. And this is like little undercrofty area. nerding out about it for a while, chat. I'm sorry. Didn't see any statue guys. Okay. That was the first time we've alerted anybody. Within the realm. I do really want to kick the captain off. I want to do the Spartan kick on him real bad, but I kind of need his loot. Like, what could you be guarding back here? Like, like, what are you going to see from the... Well, I guess someone could sneak up from there. Okay, fair. Okay, fair. Okay, so a provision needs to be burned and a chest needs to be gotten. I thought there might have been one more. Oh, way down there. Where is that? Oh, got it. And that's where the last thing is, too. Okay. Wow, that is a climb to get down. Man, y'all are really hoofing it. Just really, just, just hiking. I 
let's see. Excellent. Now, did I see like a like open doorway? Oh, it just must not have been drawn yet. Got it. Cool. We just can get straight back to town going this way? Oh, the verticality of it. Blessed be. Oh. Chat, I love just... When it comes to map exploring and maneuvering around, like, intricate webs and multiple paths... Oh. Oh, it's too good. It's too good. Like... Oh. Of course, just wait until Cyberpunk comes out, and then we're just going to be... Just stewing in it. Just stewing in it. Iphigenia's sacrifice. Zonian queen. So we'll do this area last. It's gonna be a blacksmith there, so we can get a little bit of money. So climb up there. No, I think we'll come through here and get that one. That's probably a marble maiden statue. Then we can just go straight up and cross this way. Then that might be this entire area, wouldn't it? You know, I don't see any other locations on the map. Yeah, that might actually be it. Okay, well, cool. 116 meters. It's so far away and yet so close. Oh my god. Will I just, like, die? Into the abyss! Wow. Your ankle would not even be attached anymore. It would have been broken so badly. You would have twisted it. Five forty melon on your ankles. Hundred percent. Please go up. Please? Thank you. Oh man, I love this gold and marble aesthetic that they got going on. One more? Yeah, one more. I'm sorry? No, come on. Okay, this is almost a sheer, a completely flat area, so... Should, should be no excuses. Okay. Thanks for coming to me. That actually made my job a lot easier. Excellent. Hello, friend. Your patina is quite nice. I appreciate what you have going on there. Alright, more Marble Maiden statue. Nice. Shh. 
shipwreck. You're gonna make me shipwreck, aren't you? No sign of sharks, but just in case. Find a keeper's insight. Like how far? Oh, that way. Got it. Jellyfish. Always follow the jellyfish. Ooh, this is gotten darker. Excuse me? Can I loot? Okay, I won't loot. Is a swim. Okay. Loot it. Why won't you loot? I need the loots. Okay, so a couple of little things. Where do you have me going? I'm clearly still in the right place. It's a low hanging iron. Hey, okay, wait. Okay, I mean, yes, a chest. Also through here? I mean, what does a keeper's insight look like? Man, where am I? Well, this seems to be more like the place. Bioluminescent coral seems like, uh, okay. Yep. New palette of, uh, fauna. Flora, pardon. Oh, very sweeping orchestral music. Okay, so this is it, huh? So it's like a stele, but for Isu people. Do I, oh, nope. Wait, ability enhancement. Ab 
Ability enhancements are first civilization artifacts that modify and empower existing abilities. They can be equipped in the abilities menu. Go on. Do tell. Okay. Equip enhancements. To activate an ability enhancement, the related ability must be fully upgraded to rank 3. Okay, they're all upgraded. Enhance the ability by pressing A when it is up. Enhance the ability by pressing A when it is upgraded, and then assign that ability to your wheel to use it. Ability enhancements can be activated or deactivated at any time in the ability menu. So, I, it's not like I can use it on anything else. It's just, so this is what I found. Enhancement preview. Oh, okay. Write down a burst of arrows in a three meter radius around you dealing 450% hunter damage. Enemies inside the area are stunned for five seconds and take crit damage from melee attacks and abilities. Special arrows can be used. Ooh. Wowie, wow, wow, wow. And I can revert it at any time. Okay, so this is this is already it's already there. Intriguing. So I wonder which other ones. Okay, so that probably means that we can just sink all of our points into this, right? Because we're probably not using ability points on anything of anything new. They'll be doing these enhancements. Intriguing. Eighteen thousand. It wasn't one hundred eighty thousand. But I'm still making a whole bunch of experience points. We're going up a lot. Oh man, I'm like way. Well. I mean, that means that we're really close to getting in here. Now, the question is, is, is there an exit nearby that we can use? Be really kind of nice if there were. Or we might just have to fast travel. Hmm. Okay, so bioluminescence directs us to where we need to go. Let's remember that. Okay, for real though, is there not a way out? I'm not going all the way back through. That seems a little bit, a little much, but. Best way to go about doing this now. No. Yeah. Like, the travel back would essentially take us right to, to that fast travel point anyway. We might as well just jump it. We might as well just jump it. Okay, so yeah, we were right there. Where we need to go is there. No. Icarus. Thank you. Fuck it. Fuck it.
moving too fast at the draw distance can't keep up with us. Okay. Oh man, now I'm kind of wondering what other enhancements we're going to get. I mean, I know that one is in like in a like a a ranged assassination ability. Come, Phobos. Light these fields on fire with your glowing mane. Actually, you know what I'm realizing is the best thing about this entire area? There's no animals. Not an animal in sight. No lynxes to pop out at us. Nothing. Okay, only two, huh? That's fine. Let's hope no one notices me here. Where's the other one? There. I mean, those statue characters are pretty darn interesting. Part of me feels a little bit bad that I'm not, like, trying to engage them in combat at all, ever. I'm just, like, walking in and just knocking them out. But, like, the whole sentry vibe is pretty... pretty awesome. Okay. So this will have to be a, a a town of some kind. Yeah, we'll get that afterwards. You just jump up, get into town, get that fast travel location. And these are pretty neat little teleporter things. Yep, whip. Take me up there. I must be on top. Okay, Nino. Now is this this is just a town, right? So there's nothing that's gonna hurt me while I'm here? Question mark? Got a dog. It's a cute dog, though. And it's still Rose? Rose is just everywhere? God, you're cute. Talk to him. Talk to him. Hello? Talk to him. I hate him. I Well, I don't, I don't hate him. I hate Cassandra for not talking to him. I press Y. There's no dialogue. I hate it. I hate it. All right, so 22 for a blue, 36. Okay, so it's still the same. We're making no extra money being here versus anywhere else. If anything, it looks like we're getting less in some cases. But slowly getting some... Done. some Rose. Yeah.
Tell him he's a good boy. Why button? How did you get here, boy? Smart doggy. He is a smart doggy. Who's a good boy? Ross is a good boy. Yes, he is. You must tell him as much. Gosh. Ubisoft, like, a great DLC, but seriously, if you can't make it easier for me to tell a dog he's a good boy, like, you need to patch that. You need you need to patch it. You need to patch that post-haste. They must always know that they are good boys. Okay... I love this area so much. Like, it makes me want an Assassin's Creed game that is literally this at all times. Like, a, like, from the very beginning. Like, some fictitious, like, euphoria kind of a place. It's too good. All right. Oh. Now what do we got down there. And it feels good to have, like, these very vertical levels and then without any kind of, uh, trepidation whatsoever, just recklessly jumping from the top ledges all the way down to the bottom, knowing that there's no repercussions whatsoever. Feels good. Feels good. The god, the god fantasy is... It's pretty legit. Pretty legit. Okay. This seems a little bit small. Oh, but it does have a it does have a torch. So it is some kind and it's restricted. Stay out of sight. Destroy torches, find a thing. You know, struck a burn of provisions and loot a treasure. Ah, we have the bad guys on the way up, do we? What are you practicing for, dude? You live on top of a mountain. Okay, okay, three people. Can do. Hey there. Swap. Oh, are you kidding? Oh, that's good. Good thing we didn't see any of those statue guys anywhere. Booped you. Booped your nose. Gotcha. Bleep, 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 bleep. Okay. Elysium. Dercalion's heritage. To find me, move from the palm to a mouth of the glorious dead. The wall of water that spits out of it and be reached by only the most competent climber. It may be wet outside, but I'm kept dry inside. Um, 
So from the hand to the mouth of the glorious dead. It was the mouth of the glorious dead is here. The mouth of the glorious dead over there. It's a wall of water that spits out of the mouth. Okay, I'm going to keep that up for a while, actually. Whoop. Got him. Oh, I guess I'll put it down. So we can actually see what we're getting here. And whip. Oh, burn provisions. Where were the provisions? Ah, right here. Okay, so from the Hand of Hades, going to the mouth of the Glorious Dead, which is over there, there's a... You know what, let's let Icarus do the scouting. There's a wall of water. Ah, waterfall right there. And it looks like what we want is there. Yeah, that is a door. Does look like a waterfall. Yep. Okay. So that's where we're going. Uh, uh, quickest way? Question mark. Anything on the table? Just fish? That's cool. Oop. Oh, man. So pretty. What did, you, what did you, can I, okay, we'll go down. Okay, no, you don't, you don't go anywhere, boat. That's cool. That's cool. We're a demigod. We can, we can swim underneath you. That's fine. Yup. Those physics seem sound. Yeah. That, my immersion is completely in sync here. That seems, yeah, right. Oh, or is it that one? Which one of these? Ah, it's not this one, it's the other one. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, gosh. Uh, okay. Well, we're, yep, this is the wrong way. And I didn't, of course not. That's, that's fine. Can I climb through the waterfall? Can I just like go up the sheer flat? Cool, excellent. Because this would be totally possible. Please continue up. Please continue up. 
Are you kidding? Go up, please. Are you serious? You're, you're telling me you can go up, you can climb up a completely water-swept waterfall, but you cannot climb up those cobblestones, is what you're telling me. Cool. Damage on Isu. Cool. That's cool. What a... What a... What a... What a... What a... What a... Confundery. Alright. Well... That's gonna be... This whole area. Out of hell with it, sure. Let's just walk down the path and... Take out what's her name. Who am I taking out? Hmm. Okay. Off the beaten path. But there we go. Now. We need to get there. It means we need to just ride through here. Phobos. Can you just like walk through here like it's no big deal? Cool. I wonder if Phobos can take the teleporter. He should. Shouldn't be limited to just humans. Equal species treatment in the afterlife. It should be that way. I should try to stay out of sight. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, one there. Wow, okay, this, this is big. This is a little bit on the bigger side. Yup, sure enough. They got all these little outposts too. Oh, and they can call for reinforcements here. That's that's less than great. What? Uh, okay. Well, from where I am. Looks like that goes underneath. And I can come over and take out that one. That's probably the path to take, huh? Yep, be super careful about it. Oh, these dudes are sleeping over here. We can't pass that up. Okay. Super sneaky. Hold on here. Waking up, they're waking up. Oh, are 
Are you gonna go to sleep now? You taking your turn? Okay, good. A grunt, a captain, and another captain. Okay. We'll take out that torch in a second. And they give you a lot of traversal options. I feel like we've never had this much freedom to choose our path before. I mean, we kind of have, but... That's it? Man, they do not want you to just get a whole bunch of resources out of this. <gasps> Thank... Thank the gods that that one did not see me. Because I did not see them. Yeesh. Yeesh. Eep. Anything like super secret up here? Anything like real super good? No? Where does that one go? Oh. It's also stuff down here. Nice sound design. Okay, so now we need to take out... Well, first we need to get that chest. Okay. Ooh. There's another guy down here. Man, they hide these guys just everywhere. Wait, wait are you serious? Okay. Next best play. Yep, yep. Get up here. And then start clearing off the left. Make our way back to the middle. How many people? Just one? Two. I should go now. Shit. Just 
Okay, yeah, there were definitely a couple that we didn't see there. Well, yeah, get rid of you. Good. Good. All right. Okay, so just to be extra super, super sure. What do we got? Anything? Okay. We can get those pretty easy. Then we should go for the sleeping guys. Swift before some of these other guys get down here. Yeah, we need to get some of that glowing armor, chat. We need to start dressing to impress like these guys. Damn it all. Okay, and there's one guy over there next to the torch. There another one. Hmm. So maybe it's two statues for each for each sector. I wonder if that's right. What could you possibly need to be? Oh. Oh sure. All right. Admiring the art. I get that. Excellent. Man, we have gotten, like, five levels up. Just by clearing, like, 25% of this map. We're gonna have so many more mastery points by the time we're done with all this DLC. Look at that. Now hunter damage is completely done. Now it's on to warrior damage. And we'll have all of our base health increased. God, that's still so much. Anyway. Alright. Let's take stock here. We can run across the middle. Take a couple of those guys out. There's two there. That there. This kind of inner sanctum. Which I feel like we're missing some chests. And there's one. Oh, some of them are starting to rotate to the other side. Surely.
Why would there be gulls all the way up here? Okay. One treasure chest. Okay, there's the captain by the chest. There's those two guys. The torch is up at the top with the overseer. The overseer appears to be by themselves. Infiltration. Y'all just kind of hide in each other's blind spots. Oh, oh. Okay, excellent. Bam. So that takes care of all of the lackeys. Now we just need to take out the final torch. And our overseer. Which I kind of doubt that we'll be able... I haven't seen any statues. And I have a feeling that we should take out statues before we try and attack the overseer. Because I'm pretty sure they're going to try and make that a fight. Like make that a strong fight. I don't see any other... Ah, uh, there was one over by the entrance that we never got. Okay, well... Oh, yeah. Yep. There's one. And two. Yep, that makes sense. That makes sense. Well, just in case, like, the entire place gets alerted when battle takes place, which I don't think is true. Probably the same, the same rules as anything else, like, uh, have to be in the vicinity. Ooh, that's a big battle axe, though. Let's say no to... At your own pace. Thank you. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is try and get a, a, a rush on... ...the others first. Wait, are you for real? Just... For real? Oh, now I kind of feel bad about it. Now I feel bad about it. Maybe I should have, like... Given her a fair shake, maybe I should have just done the battle. Here I thought that she was going to be like a like a, a a big thing. That's too bad. Okay, so before we move on to... Goosh. Should have done a hero landing. Let's see... And there's one, two, three.
need you guys to be. That sucks. Can you be weak? I need you to be weak so I can get some adrenaline. Yeah, cool. Yes, give me the iron, give me the metal. Okay. So with that, that should be this entire sector, right? Am I wrong? Oh, it's green now! Hell yeah. See, that's a good change. I think we said that back in, back in, uh, while we were clearing the map in, in, in the vanilla game, that these outlines should just change color. And lo and behold... There you go, Chad. Now you can absolutely know when you've cleared something. Good. Oh, or maybe it's just because it's... Oh, because I've defeated the Overs here. Uh, well, grown, but okay. Okay, okay, so now we need to go talk to Adonis about Adonis things. Also, like... Oh, okay. First, get out of the water. For one, two, save the game. Yeah, cool. All right, my guy. I did what you wanted. Let's talk about it. Trust me now. You've brought me one step closer to my love. It's a good start. Who is this love you keep mentioning? The most beautiful being in existence. With a face so fair to gaze upon it is to forget all others. Perhaps you've heard of her. Aphrodite. No. I'm sorry. Afro who? Very funny. The last person who provoked a wrath was turned into a field pig. All right. What's next? Not here. Come find my camp in Yapetos's ruins. Before you go, Persephone has overseers and torches of Hypnos across Elysium. If we're going to weaken her influence, we must destroy them. <sighs> and we're going to need all the help we can get. time I go meet the infamous Persephone. That's that's all you need to do to go confront Persephone? No, no, no. No, 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 no. That's not how we're going to do it. No, no, no. Okay, so... Okay, so there's another thing there. Huh. I mean, I'm wondering where I get all of the new armor from. Big question mark. Let's... Go there. Grab that one, come here. Yeah. That shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, I think the actual, like... The distance on the XY is really not that great. I think it's all the vertical traversing that makes... 
this area feel big. And like, we have god legs. We can just jump. Interesting little nooks and crannies. Let's see, we're going to a cave, looks like. Yeah, I mean, there's guys here. Where's... Okay. Yeah, it's clearly just through that cave. Like, is that supposed to be a statue of Leonidas? Am I understanding that right? I didn't really realize it until this moment. Like, it does kind of bear a resemblance to Leonidas. Is that who that's supposed to be? Nah. It's pretty just stereotypical. Greco. Greco artwork. underpass four treasures hold on a second uh, Stelly That'll help. So are we going into like a subterranean city right now? I don't mean like people in here, is there? So, something's blocking this. Well, then, by what other means do I get myself in there? Oh, looks like this door needs a key. Interesting. Okay. I mean, how do I get down? There's a keeper inside down there for sure. 
Wasn't like a breakable wall, was there? No. Huh. Maybe that's part of the quest that we're gonna do? Maybe talking to Hecate gets us that key? Should be careful. High security here. Question mark? I mean, because that's definitely subterranean, and I can't get through there. There is a door that needs a key. I mean, just out of curiosity. Nope, that's just an abyss. Whoop. Yep. Okay, so I can't scale down that way. Hmm. Who's lay? Oh. So this is the exit. I actually need to enter from here. Oh, well, okay. So that's... Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Now the question is, is this place going to be free of enemies? Interesting. Oh, the entire thing's gonna be a puzzle dungeon, huh? Something's in the way. Although puzzle dungeons in Assassin's Creed aren't exactly uh, very puzzly. Make sure there's nothing behind. Any pots here? Ooh. Go on. I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. question is, is the keeper inside that way? And this is just the treasure chests. Oh, okay. Who's lay? This. Okay, doesn't need to be. So maybe that's where I came from originally. Like, that's the exit. Okay, I need to be able to push that through. Okay. Roger that. Won't budge. 
I don't want to budge that one. I want to budge this one. Good. Okay. That weird metal grating on the top is kind of weird. Almost looks like I could stand up there. So I can't push it back. So do I just keep pushing it forward? Dead Hero's Haven. All right, another hero inside. What are we enhancing? So we must only get like four... Four enhancements, I guess. Let's just be one insight per... Pick up the torch? Yeah. Okay. Wait, this? What does this do? Slow time for five seconds. Headshots performed during this time extend the duration by 2.5 seconds and increase headshot damage by 125%. Ability wears off after five headshots. You know, I'll enhance it. I'm probably not going to use it, but neat. I mean, that's not a bad skill, though, honestly. Have we gotten, like, eight ability points today? Oh my gosh, we level up so fast in this area. It's unreal. Okay. So I kind of thought that I might need to, like, push this thing somewhere, but now I'm thinking that might not be the case. I guess in order to get the last chest, we need to go up. And go the non-secret way. Uh, and this is our way out. Oh man. Okay, hold on. Let's look over here first. Make sure there wasn't anything else in this room that was important. Nope, other than a trap. Okay, wait. I can only move this one. Why did I even break that then? All right, well, whatever. No, not that one. This one.
Wasn't that cheeky? Got it. And just to be safe, all the way over. Just in case that ever needs to happen again. But still, though, it's an area here with a key. Key that we don't have. Interesting. Trouble if I'm spotted here. Okay. So that would have taken out those locations. There's definitely still a bunch up here around the overseer area, and there's a bunch out in these fields this way. Let's start by getting this fast travel location. Whose foot is this? Whose, whose foot am I looking at? Wait. Unless there's just a leg there. That's weird. That's a strange thing. That's weird. Just like a random leg. Oh, cool. Sunken Temple of Faraya. Faraya? while his boat floated away from him down the Eridan River in pieces. I'd give my sharpest bronze dagger to see that silly human trying to leave Elysium on the Feluca. Have you visited my mother recently and given her my love? Always. The meteor sends her love in return. Well, I'd better get back. Elysium won't rule itself. Do keep an eye out for me. I sense trouble brewing in paradise. Damn right. I was starting to think you'd never get here. You can't waste time if you hope to break Persephone's control over the gate to the underworld. I... <laughs> Did you really think world wouldn't get out at your inclusion with Elysium's pretty boy, Adonis? Is that so? Unfortunately, no one passes through the gate to the underworld without Persephone's permission, which she has never given, ever. Luckily for you, as the goddess of crossroads and keys, locked doors happen to be my specialty. Are you saying you can get me through the gate? I'm saying I can help you bypass Persephone. From what I just saw, you're pretty close with Persephone. Why would you want to work against her? I'm not asking for your blind trust. Let me prove our goals align. This unlocks the door to Persephone's hidden sanctuary. She keeps all of her most intimate possessions there, stowed away from her husband. Among her treasures is a journal rumored to contain information you desperately need about the gate. Bring it to me as soon as you can. Come to think of it, I've seen the door you speak of before. And now you'll be able to open it. I'll go get the journal. The sooner you bring me it, the closer you are to leaving Elysium. Don't waste any time. Okay, there you go. Goddesses, man. Okay, so which one of these pillars? This one. That's not the one. I got bamboozled. Twere not that one. 
has this one over here. Ooh. Ooh, what's that? Oh, that's a cool area. There's so many cool areas, man. Hold on, Icarus. Icarus, wait. Keep flying. Oh, neat. Cool area. What is it, I wonder? Well, no matter. We'll figure it out. First, though, let's do this quest. Let's see what's in that door. I mean, you put a locked door. You put a locked door in front of me. We gotta see what's in there. Mind me, I'm on a horse. Spotted here. Okay, fine, Phobos. You don't need to come with me. Okay. Let's see if I got this key works. It's gonna happen. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Oh. Not a cinematic, evidently. Okay, so archives of some kind. Persephone, what can I say but that I miss and love you eternally? Demeter. Letter from Mom. Journal? This journal is missing pages. Hope Agathe still wants it. That's it? Nothing else to find? No other secrets? A poppy. Demeter's emblem. Uh, all right, well. Oh, I can't fast travel? Bummer. Hmm. Now can I fast travel? Cool. And there's still quite a bit left in this area, too. The map clear is going to take longer than I thought. If we can end the evening with half the map done, that's probably pretty good. Hello. I'm not sure how stealing Persephone's journal will help me open the gate to the underworld, but here it is. Stealing Persephone's journal wouldn't help us. But stealing the journal that belonged to the gate's locksmith will. Who's the locksmith? It doesn't say. Looks like a lot of pages were torn out. Now be quiet while I read. Fair, fair reaction from Cassandra. Well, that was illuminating. So? What does it say? Oh, so eager. The location of the gate is not revealed. But so long as Persephone controls Elysium, you need her permission to pass through it. Which you will never get. But if she loses control of Elysium... She loses control of the gate. 
You need to undermine her influence any way you can. And how do you suggest I do that? Your alliance with Adonis is a good start. His head-on tactics are a little obvious for my taste, but in time, he will wear down Persephone's forces. What about our alliance? Where do you come in? I know all of Persephone's weaknesses, and I'll direct you to them when the time is right. Until then, you'd be wise to spend some time with Persephone's lapdog, Hermes. Learn to use that staff. You'll need a divine weapon in the land of gods. Okay, Roger. Cool area. Got like a throne and everything. Neat. So neat. Okay, so we'll go up to this area eventually. But first, we should wipe out these four locations. Ending over here. The Marble Maiden statue come up. Get this um, fast travel point. And I guess make our way up here. Is there enough here for me to run across? Oh, come on. Really? Just let me run across the damn thing. Ah. Keep those path. Is this one of them? Memento from a lost souls. My dear Sanathea, I can't bear to grieve you any longer. I leave your memory to this papyrus before I fall to let his bliss. Interesting. Oh, it's a quest item, huh? Alright, how am I getting down there? Can we swim? That looks like the thing, huh? I like the way that they're burying all of this undersea cavern spelunking kind of a thing. Nice change. Okay, it's right above me. Oh, oh? Why? Why have these guys here? So strange. What are they guarding? Weird. Elkeeper. 
sharp watch here. Okay. That all seems to be fine. is important about this area. Man, they were really banking on me needing to fight some of these guys. If my dear doesn't love me forever, then at least I'll have this to take the pain away. Persephone won't get in the way of that. Gee. Something's in the way. Wait, wait. Who's 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 is this G? Hello, G. Don't mind the person coming through the wall. Really? You don't have anything to say? Do okay. That seems a little bit odd. Doesn't it? And then I'm just out of this cave. Okay, so next to a bridge, next to the bridge that's right next to you. Weird. Well, I guess there's some kind of a quest somewhere. Maybe that's another thing for Hecate later. Come on. Three Peaks Crossroad, huh? Isu Warden Breastplate. Huh. Okay. Something up there at the end of this road. There's also something out there. Another maiden statue?
Yep. This is a twofer. Looks an awful light like a twofer. Oh, okay. we go now. Getting there. Okay. So we need to go up to get that. Yeah, I guess let's do that first. So to my we go now. left that way. Or is it is it that way? Hold on. Uh, we've seen this. Let's go. Yeah, we did this when we were scouting this place out earlier. There's gonna be a pack of dogs at the top of this one. Oh, and you're probably gonna teleport me right into the thick of it, aren't you? So I won't be able to do anything about it. Uh, so convenience is going to get me into a whole heap of trouble. Be ready, be ready, be ready, be ready, be ready, be ready. Holding the L button, gonna hit Y. Ha ha ha. Not today, wolves. Ooh, this is, this is a graveyard. How many, how many do we have? Five. Okay. Swap out this with, is this the, no. This one. Canonite flower bed. And this is where we just Are you serious? I can't I can't rush in there. And it's not letting me rush in there. Oh ho, 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 ho. you are a bunch of assholes. Now I can. Ooh, it poisoned me. Okay. You know, man. So many bodies. So many bodies. All right, so now we just go further north for that one. Then we're going up straight to whatever those areas are. So is that another Marble Maiden? Yeah, it is. Man, they got a lot of Marble Maidens. 
Okay, three. Four? No, it's three. One, two, three. Got it. I feel like I get more out of them if I defuse them than try and fight them. That makes sense. Didn't I just have one? I get an ability point every time we take down a Marbled Maiden. I hadn't even noticed that. No wonder we're leveling up so fast. Because we're not actually leveling up, we're just getting free points. Okay, that makes the difference. That's what makes the difference. Okay, again, can Phobos teleport with me? Aw, poor Phobos. Uh, you gotta get out of the teleport then, big guy. Hang out in that little... That little gully there. Whoop, whoop. No wonder, man. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Perfect. Okay, so we just want to go straight ahead and get that fast travel spot. And I guess we want to, like, check and see what's up with these other cities? Like, it's kind of weird if, like, Iphigenia's compound is this smaller fort over here in this massive city. Like, means nothing? Like, a little bit odd, if that was the case. So I'm kind of curious to see what's over there. Yeah. And the fact that we've done most of a full stream and got halfway through this map is... wild. Okay, so that goes up farther. This is just another Marble Maiden. We got one there, one there.
Yeah, we get a lot more if we if we take them down stealthily. Yeah, it is not to our advantage to try and fight these guys. Okay. So now what's up there? Because we can come back down and do Iphigenia's compound last. Just in case. The Devoted Followers. Oh, whoa. Okay. Okay, that's really... This is a really cool spot. Okay, so then there's, there's a fort over there. And wasn't there another one? Are there three things here? Oh, different, two different things. Okay, so Sanctuary, Devoted Followers. And after we do those, though... Yeah. Okay, so just, we'll walk over to the shrine real quick and just make sure that... There isn't anything to do there. Man, this is a really cool area. I gotta say. And the fact that I know that, like... Yeah, there's all these side areas. Jack, can you imagine if there was some place like this in real life? Where you could just live on this, like, wild cliff top, Probably very geologically and architecturally unstable area, but gorgeous? Right? Just real pretty? Oh yeah, dude. One earthquake and, like, forget about it. Like, you're done. Yeah, there's no coming back from that. No, no, no. There's, there's some sleeping. Yeah, we need to get over there. We need to get over there before they wake up. Oh, man. Just think about it, Chet. Imagine if this were real life. Like, even the guards are just chilling all the time. Oh, come on, not right now. Yeah, we'll turn off all of the, the torches later. Go for this captain first. He coming up? He's coming up. Where's he gonna go? Fuck, 
fuck, fuck, fuck, fuck. Man, we're gonna have to look at some of this armor here in a little bit. I mean, some of those pieces look real nice. One more? Not it? One more? Really, I couldn't assassinate because I needed to loot? There we go. One torch, one set of provisions. This area done. And nobody's the wiser. Okay, so that takes care of... Yeah, everything up here. So we just need to take out the fort. And that'll be good? I think, yeah. Let's go down and take out Iphigenia. How's that teleporter? Oh, right above me. Okay. <laughs> okay. What is the quickest and most efficient manner of ingress? Let us see. What else? Okay.
Okay. Doing a solid sneak. Alright, let's see. Take to the rooftops. That captain over there seems to be the... The northernest most character. Most elevated. God, Cassandra can just climb so good. Okay, well, here's hoping... Your buddy, don't alert your buddy, don't alert your buddy, don't alert your buddy, don't alert your buddy. Okay, a little close, a little close, I'll admit. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, luckily this captain doesn't want to move. Iphigenia for last. Okay, if a genie is a brute, huh? Interesting. Oh, oh, okay, there's one that I didn't see. It's a pixel perfect shot. Right there. Right. 
we're going to want to go after that guy. We might be able to take him out without alerting the others. I'm going to need to be ready on the... Uh... And there is a... Oh, 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 but one is moving. Okay. Okay. A little improv. Worked pretty good. Alright, so we have a couple more torches. Wait, where's the, the other one? Oh, I didn't get this one over here. Okay. So we have Iphigenia, this torch. And she just has one. Put that axe to use. Again, feels bad, but we are the stealthy ones. That is the build that we signed up for. Okay. And that takes care of this area. That's 180,000. <sighs> Let me just get a jump right off the edge. Hell yeah. Like a god. Okay. So then both of these areas should be cleared now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Very cool. Okay, so I think... Did I accidentally... No, I didn't. I couldn't have, right? Like, I didn't... Yeah, so we cleared this area after we hit this... Uh, after we hit this blacksmith. So I haven't... Um... Huntress Blade. Once held by the mighty Atalanta herself. So this is the one that we want to keep. We want to keep the uh, Overseer weapons. Yeah, and then we want to keep this axe, which is surprisingly almost the exact same as the other one. But 40% damage to Isu, though, is pretty wild. Okay. Does any of these, like, look good? Ooh. It does kind of look good. Ooh, with a copper on it? I mean, it doesn't look bad. I mean, I, I could... I could... Oh, but with, with the... With the eyes, though. That does look pretty neat. That does look pretty good. Interesting. Oh. Okay, I haven't gotten any... any Not bad though. Not bad though.
Okay. Up the warrior damage just that little bit more. Uh, we still have a lot of space in our inventory. Let's forget it for right now. So what what time are we at, chat? What are we what are we looking at? Ten o'clock right now. Like I know that we started a little bit late. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Yeah, I think this is what I want to do, Jen. I certainly... How can I have low battery? It's literally plugged in right now. How could you... I need that phone charge, please. And, like, that's not even plugged to anything. All right, we'll have to look at that in a second. I don't have that charged either. Oh, I do have that charged. Cool. Battery backup. Neato. Well, that's not what I wanted, but... Okay, so we want to head west. Specifically over there. At the very least, I want to... get the fast travel locations. Yeah. And also, this is like really kind of blowing my mind that uh, all of this, this entire, this entire thing is episode one. So we're still going to have two other episodes to look forward to that are about this size. Like, that's nuts. Yeah. Like, that's still so... So much content. Okay, that way. synchronizer yeah. okay come on now oh down there There's a higher point. There's a higher vantage point. I mean, this seems a little bit odd, but cool. Okay. Ionisian Hamasapple. Oh, and this will just take me straight up to the to the overseer, huh? All right, that's pretty. There's a marble maiden there. Another location that we want to get there. Hmm. Alright, we'll do that, and then get that spot. Which is kind of on the way. 
What is that? What is that thing on that tree? Whoop. I love no fo Oh, it's a person holding a fish. Of course. Why why couldn't I have seen that? Is it a fish? Is it a whale? Is it a koi fish? Big old carp? Mermaid? Kind of curious. Actually, like, legitimately kind of curious. Like, draw this in a little bit quicker. Oh, there's, like, flowers and stuff on it? That's kind of weird. Or is it fire? Is he wielding fire? Uh, he's yelling about it. I think it's fire. He's a wizard. Of so some sort? I don't know. I don't know. Sort of? Oh, man. I don't even get loot from it? Alright, whatever. Big cow. How great would it be if there was an achievement that was just hit a bird with your sword? those two, huh? Oh, I'm definitely not hidden. I'm definitely not hidden. I'm definitely not hidden. There's a chest that goes with this. Oh, all right. So now we just need... Get up there. And then we'll go get the one on top of Persephone's palace. Not doing anything in Persephone's palace, of course. But just getting that fast travel position so we have it when we need it. But having these are going to make it a whole lot easier for us to get around later. Top of the thingamajig. Got it. For some reason, a mast. Cool point, though. So cool. Such a cool area. I love it. I love it too much. So good. And we're still gonna have Atlantis after this, too. Okay, so we got that there. Some other location there. Marble Maiden down at the bottom. out that way. Okay. 
Okay. Marble Maiden over there. Marble Maiden there. Okay. You know, I could just say... Oh, you know what, why not? We can just get these two, these two marble maiden statues on the way. Just kind of rack up some points. Doesn't hurt nobody. Three. Anybody else? There you are. It's always two. Between the experience and then just like the free points from Marble Maiden statues. Let's go. Like we're just swimming in mastery points. Black Wall of Death, the phase in the Matrix. The screen door it was Assassin's Creed Odyssey. God, these deers, look at these deer. They're gold. Solid gold antlers. Oh, get you guys. So we, there was one out this way, right? Can I easily get there? It's kind of like right around the corner. Yeah, there we go. One, two, three. Okay, and so these guys must have like a really slim frame of vision, huh? Boom. A third point for me. Alright, Phobos, you can come down now. Or I can't. Now then. 
There's... I don't know what that area is over there. But we essentially just need to climb straight up there. See if I get close enough to the edge of this, if it'll just tell me what it is. Oh, come on, Phobos. Phobos. There you go. That looks like a no. Alright, sorry, Phobos. Ashfordell Fields. Another marble maiden on the way? My gosh, dude. So many marble maidens. Literally so many. Oh, this one actually has a captain. Mastery level 29. points have been gotten today hopefully this is this is a, that's consistent throughout uh, the rest of the DLC too like it'd be incredible if just from, from here on in all of the DLC content just gave you a whole bunch of ability points that might be the only marble maidens Okay, there's definitely a lot of other things. Interesting. <sighs> okay, hopefully, hopefully climbing on top of her house isn't going to trigger any kind of a, uh, any kind of a cutscene. I don't want to confront her yet. I just want to get that fast travel position. In fact, just to be safe. Save. Save. Taking the regular way, though, is going to be quite the climb. Now you see why they made some Hermes teleporter pads. This is pretty arduous. To 190 meters. Wait. Okay, hold on. Should probably 
to make sure. Well, it looks pretty safe. Of course, I say that and it feels like final words. Famous last words, but... Just give it to me. There we go. This is elaborate. Meet Persephone. I don't want to do that yet. Okay. Now we can come back here anytime we want. Hunter damage and assassin damage all the way up. God, 10 points into warrior already. Mind blowing. Absolutely mind blowing. We could go sell some of this stuff. In fact, maybe we should. Hmm. Yeah, it's only like three locate four locations. Five locations in this area. And part of me wonders if I should do them now, but probably don't need to. Don't need to force it. No oh, yeah, so here's what we're gonna do. We're going to head back to Greece, we're to put the weapons that we want to keep in our ship. Just so I don't accidentally sell them, which is always a possibility. I want to put them away and then we'll sell some stuff. And then go, go to the Hephaestus Forge and see... How many how many perks we can upgrade with uh, with the money that we've made? Perhaps it would be great if we could just. It's gonna say it'd be really great if we could just farm enough money in the other. Huntress Blade, once held by the mighty, mighty Atalanta, which is assassin damage, damage with daggers, damage to Isu. So yeah, we definitely want to store that. And then one of these blades, this one, heavy bladed warrior damage, damage to Isu. So we want to store those two. But everything else should be able to be sold. Um... Where is the closest blacksmith? Oh, he's, oh, yeah, we'll do that. That's always easy. 
Okay. Well, and it looks like like the the northernmost sector of Elysium in in Persephone's area is the least busy of all of them. So that one should be pretty easy for us to just like walk in and wipe out within Call you know the first you. half an hour or something. Are these like oh I kind of wish that like if I brought these back they could be like oh see that these are super great you could sell them for twice as much but nope but I will still make plenty of money hope we can get to like three million Is that possible all right let's have a bug fly into my face. Okay, I feel pretty good about three million. Oh, looks like just barely gonna get there. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Just a little over three million. Come back anytime. God, we are so rich. We are so rich. When 20,000 gold can get you out of jail for murdering three heads of state, and you have three million drachma. Forget about it. Forget about it. We are impervious. Ooh, it's weird to be back in... The normal area now. Certainly got a different vibe to it. Oh shit, we still haven't done the daily. Crap. Well, I guess we're gonna do that real quick too before we call it a night. Gotta get that Orichalcum, man. Don't need to move farther ahead on, on on getting all those cosmetic items and emptying that store. All right, how many can we get? Let's see, four. That's seven. Probably gonna be the last one, huh? Yep. Boom. Hey, getting there. Slowly but surely. I mean, we have no money now, but it's not like we have any uh, any risk of being getting a bounty on our head in Elysium, so. Oh, I should be doing all damage is what I should be doing. Oof. Oof. Oof, oof. All right. I'll see you later. Well, we can definitely get enough money to... Um... We can definitely get enough money to finish all those perks. That's no problem. Getting all that money and then enough money and crafting materials to get all of our weapons up to max level. And that's kind of a different story. If I had, if I was smart, if we were smart, Chad, I would have left the last the last piece of every set of armor until we were max level. I would have done that if I was smarter, but unfortunately, I am not. 
I mean, we could have just like wrote out the the pirate set the entire time. Cuz like we're not changing off the pirate set. Like that is our go-to set. Oh, Pesca. Crap. Going to be out on the uh, could be worse. Hmm, man. Man, man, man. Yep, okay. The Pelor problem. Let's talk to the Peller. Let's see, I think this one is, there's bandits that are, like, taking all of our sheep, or hunting all of our things. Go kill the bandits at the beach. I think it's something like that. God, hit this. 80% crit damage? 90% crit damage? Does that thing go to 100% crit damage while low health? Holy crap. It's almost a little bit of a shame that like it takes so long to get a perks to uh, a perk to uh, to max level. Like at this point, like like there's no experimenting with with builds anymore. You know, we're gonna run out of content for that. What's happened? My family has been hunting this area for generations. Yeah. Now this Malaka calls himself Pelor has moved in. He's got traps everywhere. There's hardly any game left because of him. You need me to deal with him. Yes. Do we have a deal? Yep. Thank you, Miss Kiere. Yep, and the option is, hey, either join my join my crew or die. Yeah, it feels like there's like there's it takes so long to, to get the perks. To use the perks to upgrade them all the way that like they're never there's no experimenting with builds you craft one build specifically and you'll get rewarded for your playstyle, but there's no changing back and forth between them let's see hey my guy I'm a mercenary if I was hired to find you, you know what comes next. No one has to die here. What would it take to make you walk away? I might be able to help you escape. If you're willing to join my crew. I won't leave my life behind to work for you, mercenary. Just kill me. Well, I've earned it. Me, I had a chance. I mean, really, like, if someone came dressed like Cassandra, saying, hey, work for me or die, like, yeah, those chances aren't, those choices aren't great. Not really that great. Kind of, kind of terrible choices. All right. Has he been dealt with, Mistyos? He won't He's be been bothering dealt with. anyone anymore. Good work, Mistyos. Please take this. Happy to help. Yeah, I don't need any more lieutenants. Okay, so then those those are the chores. Nice and quick. Alright. Yeah. So I think from there, chat, like, we'll just kind of, like, put ourselves in position and save. But I think that's going to do it for me tonight. I mean, we started a little bit late. I'm having a hard time, like, 
feeling the motivation. Like it was good for like the two weeks in between, like when I was teaching and when I started the the new academic year. But it has definitely been a little bit. It, it's felt like a struggle, like getting motivated. You know, it's the kind of thing where working is being in front of the camera for a Zoom meeting for anywhere from you know, 2 to 14 hours a day, depending on the kind of circumstances. And, like, being on for a stream or, or being at a computer desk for any more time feels like a lot. But, like, I really want to finish this game. Oh, you crashed again. Very cool. Oh, no, I hit quit to desktop. Well, oh, that's my bad. No music today. But, so I think our plan, will like, we'll come back tomorrow at 6 p.m. Pacific time. At least that's my plan. Everything can always change, but that's my plan, is to be back tomorrow at 6 p.m. Pacific time. And we'll just continue to roll through this and see if we can, like, finish this first chapter. You know, do all of the, you know, clear the map in Elysium. Do all the quests, you know, kind of do all that. And then we'll move on to episodes two and three. Which, now I kind of realize it's going to take more time than I expected. Unless, you know, they are disproportionately sized in the in the last DLC, but we'll figure that out later. Um, yeah. But so that's going to do it for me, Chad. I'm going to, like, jump off. I actually kind of need something to eat, too, and it's really fucking late, which I hate. My schedule sucks, man. I hate it. It's terrible. But I digress. Chad, you are great. You're the one thing that doesn't suck. You're, you're, you're so darn you're cute. You're great. You guys are fantastic, and I love you. Thank you for hanging out and playing some games with me. Just chilling. You guys are just so, so darn cool. Uh, if I see you tomorrow at 6 p.m. For, for more Assassin's Creed, then I'll look forward to seeing you. And if I don't, then you know, have fun watching whatever you watch on Twitch. All right? You guys are great. I will see you all on the next one. All right? Bye-bye. La ba 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 la ba 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 la ba 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 la ba 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 la ba 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 we got no music ba 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 so I'm gonna just do this da 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 ba 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 la ka da ba ba and now it is a whisper la 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 ba 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 la ka da ba ba la da ba ba da 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 la ba da ba ba la da ba da ba 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 la ba da ba ba da ba 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 la ba 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 da ba 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 la ba 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 now bring it back. Do 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 ba 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 la ba 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 no 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 no. Now we're going down for real. Do ba 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 la ba 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 ba. See you later. Ba 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 ba. Good to see you. Ba ba.